In our previous session, we learned about various types of numbers that are collectively called real numbers. We also saw few examples where these numbers are used in real life. But under this, rational numbers are extensively used. So today we are focusing mainly on rational numbers and we'll learn ways to find rational numbers between any two given integers or fractions. So before we start with anything, tell me how many rational numbers are there between 0 and 5? 5, 10, 100. There are actually many numbers. In fact, even if you choose the smallest interval, there are many rational numbers. And so we conclude that there are uncountable rational numbers on the real number line. In this session, we are going to understand how to find the rational numbers between any two integers or fractions. There are several ways to find. Let's learn few of them. We are going to learn three different ways today. Let's start with the first one where we'll find rational numbers that are equidistant. And for that, let's first suppose we have a stick, say whose length is 2 units. And we have to cut this into 6 equal parts. So how can we do that? Well, we'll simply mark it 5 places and cut it to get 6 parts. But what will be the length of each part? Each part will be equal and it will be 2 upon 6. That is the length upon the number of parts, right? So you see, even if we wanted 6 parts, we have marked it only 5 places because the two were the endpoints. Now, if we assume this stick as a part of number line and the mark as some numbers on it, so we can put the stick between here. So this number will be 2 plus 2 upon 6, that is 7 by 3. Then the next number will be 7 by 3 plus 2 by 6, that is 8 by 3. Then 3 10 by 3 and at last 12 upon 3 that is 4 and these are the 5 rational numbers between 2 and 4 which are at equal distance. So in the same way can you find 3 numbers between 4 and 5? As we did before we first find the difference between the two numbers. Then we see how many numbers we have to find and add 1 to it. Now divide the difference by the number we get after adding 1. So the three numbers that we'll find will be at distance 1 upon 4 units each. First number is 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 17 upon 4. Then we add 1 by 4 in each preceding number and can get 18 by 4 and 19 by 4 as the three rational numbers between 4 and 5. Note that here we can also write 4 as 16 upon 4. Now what can you observe here? We can see that the numerator is in increasing order and denominator is a constant number. We can notice the same thing in first case too. So understand that here we have divided the difference of two numbers by 4 to get three rational numbers just because we have to exclude the endpoints. Let's understand a simple trick on same. You might find this trick more easy. In this trick, we first write 4 and 5 in the ratio form as 4 by 1 and 5 by 1. We have to find 3 rational numbers, so we multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. So this will give us the fractions 12 by 3 and 15 by 3 which is a different way to represent 4 and 5. We can now observe that the denominator of both the fractions is same that is 3. So we write the numerator in increasing order and 13 by 3, 14 by 3 are the two rational numbers between 4 and 5. But here we have missed one thing. Can you guess what it is? We have found only two rational numbers instead of three. So this reminds me that since we have to find three numbers, so I should have multiplied by four that is three plus one in both numerator and denominator. 
and this is what we have done in a more case of stick as we don't include the ends same way if we want to find nine rational numbers then we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of 4 and 5 by 9 plus 1 that is 10 denominator is same now so we again write numerator in increasing order and uh, these are the nine rational numbers between 4 and 5 note that when we multiply by 100 then we would get 99 numbers between 4 and 5 and like this we can find infinite rational numbers between any two numbers so this was about integers can we apply the same trick to find the rational numbers between any two fractions let's find out suppose the two fractions are 1 upon 2 and 6 by 5 now if we notice in the trick we were actually making denominators of both the fractions same. So to find the rational numbers between these two fractions, we should make the denominator of both the fractions same, right? So can you tell me a way? Well, we can do this by using the well-known concept of least common multiple or LCM. We know that LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. So to make denominators of both the fractions same, we will multiply the fraction 1 upon 2 by 5 and 6 by 5 by 2. We can see now the denominators are equal that is 10. So we will write numerator in increasing order. And these are some rational numbers between the fractions 1 upon 2 and 6 by 5. So friends like this you can take any two fractions and can find the rational numbers between them. So one more thing that we need to understand here that the rational numbers do not have a unique representation. For example, the rational number can also be written as 10 upon 20 or we can also write it as 5 by 10 or in more simplest form we can write it as 1 upon 2. Now the next method that we are going to learn is to find rational numbers by finding the midpoints. Let's first have 4 integers. In this, we find the midpoint of 4 and 5, then that would be a rational number between 4 and 5. And to find midpoint, we know that we add the two numbers and divide it by 2. So 9 upon 2 is a rational number exactly in the middle of 4 and 5. Then we take mid of 4 and 9 upon 2 which is equal to 17 by 4 and then 9 upon 2 and 5 and like this we can divide the sum of two numbers by 2 and can find many rational numbers between 4 and 5. Let's now see we want to find the three rational numbers between the fractions 1 by 3 and 7 by 2. So similarly even here we can just go on finding the midpoints which will give us 3 rational numbers between 1 by 3 and 7 by 2. Friends, for integers we have one more easy way. So let's take the integers 1 and 2. Here we'll first find the difference between 1 and 2 which is 1. And we know that adding 1 to 1, we can directly get 2. This means that if we add all the numbers which are less than 1 to 1, then that numbers would lie between 1 and 2, right? Uh, let's say for example, the numbers 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and up to 0 0.99, they are all less than 1. Therefore, we say that the numbers 1 plus 0 0.1, that is 1.1 lies between 1 and 2 same way 1 plus 0 0.2 that is 1.2 1.3 1.4 they are all lie between 1 and 2 so i hope you have understood everything we have learned today now lastly i have a question for you Suppose you have been given a number say 0 0.538461 and so on. By looking at this number we can say that this is a rational number because the digits after decimal repeat in a pattern. 
But if I ask you to write this number in ratio form, then how will you write it? 